to another video here on Free Will Photos. And today we're going to take another look at modifying color inside of On One using the local adjustments versus the color enhancer effect. Now, this video is really being inspired by a comment from Marlene on my last video where I showed a technique of modifying or enhancing color using local adjustments. So what I didn't do in that video after I went back and watched it, looked over my notes, is I didn't explain the reason or why you would use a local adjustment versus a color enhancer. So that's what I hope to do in today's video. So let's go ahead and jump into on one. Now here's the image that I used in the last video and I think that it's still a great outcome, but the question is, can you get the same result using a color enhancer effect? And in short, the answer is yes. Let me show you. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this particular layer. So that way I have both. I'm just going to rename the top one color enhancer. And the bottom one, we're just going to call this local adjustment. Yeah, can't spell today, but it's okay. All right. So I'm going to leave everything the exact same, except for on the color enhancer one. What I'm going to do is come over to the local adjustments and I'm just going to reset all of the local adjustments so those don't exist you can see that the photo has now changed now what I'm gonna do is come over to effects click add filter add a color enhancer and for the sake of not having to search for the color inside of the color range what I'm gonna use is the drop down here and click on add saturation because I don't want to change the hue or the brightness. All I want to do is uh, change the saturation. And then once I do that, I'm going to click on the picker tool next to there. I'm going to go find a place to sample. I'm going to click and then drag to the right. And what you see is the oranges, they actually are what's getting selected here. And then the saturation, as I move my mouse to the right, you can see the saturation slider also moving to the right. And I'm just gonna pull this up. Now, once you have your channel selected, all you have to do is let it go, and then you can come over and modify the sliders until your heart's content. So by pulling this up to about here, I think it looks pretty similar to what was in the last photo. And in order for me to check, what I'm going to do is come up to the layers and I'm just going to turn off the color enhancer layer and look at the uh, the layer underneath, which again is the local adjustment layer. So if I turn this off and turn it back on, it's getting pretty close, but it looks like I need to go and tweak a little bit in the magentas uh, because that seems to be the area. Uh, that has not been impacted yet. So what I'm going to do is try to use the color picker tool again here or the source picker tool and drag over, but it's still selecting oranges. And so what I'm going to do is just come over to the magentas and I'm going to pull that up and see if I can get that to move in the direction that I want it to. But it doesn't seem as though there's too much of a magenta looking color going on here. So what I'm going to do is come back to the oranges, pull up on the range a little bit and see if that includes more of those colors that I'm hoping to add in. Um, but if I pull the saturation up pretty high and if I pull the hue down to the left, so now it's moving it more to those reds. And, you know, this is just one of those areas where you would have to play around as you see me doing and as you will often see me doing whenever I do a tutorial, because that's just the way you learn. Uh, if I turn this off and turn it back on, you can see it's actually very, very similar. 
The only difference with the local adjustment one versus the color enhancer one is that the local adjustment one is a little bit brighter in these areas, whereas the color enhancer one is a little bit darker. Now, what we can do is come over to the orange tab and mess around with the brightness. So now, if I pull this up, should be getting pretty close to what we had on the local adjustment version. So let's go ahead and turn this off, turn it back on, and I think we're getting close. So for the sake of not making this video overly long, I'm just going to put a mask on here so that way we can take a look at it and see which one look or how they look side by side. Okay. So on the right is the color enhancer and I'll move it over here to the left a little bit more. On the right hand side is the color enhancer and on the left hand side is the local adjustment option. Now, if you're looking at this and looking at it through the YouTube compression and you're like, Chris, I don't see a difference. That's the point that I want to make because I can see a very, very slight difference on the screen right here in front of me, but you can achieve the exact same result using the color enhancer. Now, let me jump to another image and show you why you would use the local adjustment technique versus the color enhancer. All right, so here we are on another image and albeit not the greatest image. I took this at Gettysburg at sundown. The sun had already went over the horizon line or behind the trees, but on the day there was a glow all over on this particular uh, monument here, which is the eternal light, really great monument. If you uh, get a chance to go to the Gettysburg uh, memorial sites. If I come over to effects and you know what, we'll give, give the photo a little bit of life. So I'll hit AI auto, but I don't want it to be too bright. I'm not overly concerned about the noise, but what you can see when this is actually lit up, you can see that there's a little bit of an orange glow on the monument here. And that's what I was seeing with my eye but the camera doesn't necessarily see that as much. So then you need editing software to kind of pull that out. And that's essentially why I took this particular image. So what I'm gonna do is come over to effects and I'm just gonna grab a color enhancer. And I'll grab the saturation tool, just like I did on the last photo, grab my eye picker, and I'm gonna click right here and you get this message. Now, this message pops up more often than not with on one. And there's nothing wrong with the tool or the photo. It's just there isn't any color information for on one to figure out what to do with. Right. It's just saying that you didn't click in an area with enough saturation. That's OK. What you don't get when you come over to the local enhancement, so let me just close that out real quick. If I come over to local adjustment, and I'm just gonna switch this to color so I don't forget. And I'll click on the color range tool, which is found inside of the masking options. Don't click the, uh, the color tool or the apply to tool. Um, I'll click on color range. I'm going to grab my picker and I'm just going to click right here. Now, this is sampling a color. Now, what I'm not entirely sure on, if I hit the letter O, you can see it's sampling a whole bunch of information. And that would really be no different than me just turning on a saturation slider for the entire image. So what I'm going to do is pull this down until I start to see just the monument getting selected and you can see now it's really finding just that particular color range over the monument and yeah i got the trees in the sky and i can clean that up no no big deal there but if i hit the letter o and now if i come back and i pull up to the right on this particular exposure slider you can see i start to bring back that color that wasn't there 
originally, or at least it was there. It was just not visible to the to our eye until I enhanced it. And if I turn this off and turn it back on, you can see that there is a difference there. Now, I get it. This is a noisy photo and I could probably stand to remove some of the noise from the image. But the overall point that I want to show is sometimes in order to mask in a effect, you're going to need tools that you may not have the ability to use the color enhancer for. And that's where the local adjustment tab really does shine. Now, what I could do here is pull up on the vibrance just to get that a little bit more uh, popping <laughs> and make it pop a little bit more and maybe even warm it up. And, you know, I would have to play around with this. Uh, but the point, again, is that I was able to modify the color without worrying about if there was enough saturation in the area or not. And this is why I showed the technique that I did, because sometimes you may get an image that is a little bit more challenging to modify and it could make you give up. So I want to show that there are other ways of enhancing the colors in an image in the event that you have one that gives you that error message that I showed with the color enhancer. Now, which one should you take over for your image? Uh, it doesn't matter. Take the one that works and the one that gets the result for you the way that you want it. If you're having a hard time with the saturation piece, then you should use the local adjustment. But I would say maybe eight times out of 10, you could get away with using the color enhancer. Now, there are some other perks to using local adjustment versus color enhancer. However, if you don't care to use any of the other perks like the mid-tone slider, shadows, uh, modifying the white and black point in a particular color range, uh, or even including some structure or removing or adding haze, then there's no need to come over to the local adjustment tab. But if you want a little bit more granularity and fine tune adjustment capabilities, then the local adjustment tab is where I would recommend you go. So hopefully that made sense. And if it did, smash that like button because YouTube likes it. And uh, if I'm not lying, I like it too. If you're looking to pick up a copy of On One Photo Raw, then consider using my coupon code FREEWILLPHOTOS20 at checkout. You save some money. I make a small commission. It's a win-win and a great way to support the content that I create here on the channel. If you got questions about what I covered today or just anything in general about On One, drop them in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. I do answer or reply to every comment that gets left on my videos. Until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.